did you ever think you could spoon an alpaca? <laughs> Every day, right? <laughs> yeah. If that's not on your bucket list, it absolutely needs it to be. be. I'm with Megan from Peppergrass Ranch with the cutest little alpacas you ever did see. <laughs> Megan, what are these guys' names? So this is Macaroni and this is Cheese. <gasps> macaroni and Cheese. Yes. Is, is Macaroni nibbling a little yeah, bit? Yeah, he always likes to nibble. <laughs> they nibble. Is that how they kiss? Like, is it affectionate or are they unhappy with each other? No, he's just always wanting to nibble. On okay, something. so I have never seen an alpaca before. Before. I mentioned earlier, I didn't even know what one was. I think I mistook them for llamas previously. Probably. Do lots of people do that? People do it all the time. Um, so llamas are about 300 pounds. They're more aggressive because they're guard animals. And um, if you look at a uh, llama, their ears look like a cut banana. Whereas if you see these alpacas, they have pointy ears. They're smaller, they're more cuddly. and they're better in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Way better. These guys are so cute. How old are they? They are two years old. Okay, walk us through this process because I don't know how someone just like acquires an alpaca as a pet, <laughs> but uh, this is a first for me. So how did you meet these guys? So I have been searching. These are actually mini alpacas. I have been searching for mini alpacas for years. Um, I finally came across them in a divorce sale in California. So I drove out there and picked them up. Wait, you picked them up yourself? Yes. <laughs> and they drove in my van. Shut the front door <laughs> all the way from California. All the way from California. What was that drive like for you? Um, it was nerve wracking because I had heard some crazy stories, but they traveled so amazing. They just laid down the whole time. Okay. Well, and speaking of laying down, have you trained them to spoon or is this a natural skill that alpacas come no, with? No, <laughs> it is not a natural skill. I have trained them with my trainer. Um, we have worked with them. We work with them every week. We do different things that we're training them for. And we were training them one day to lay down and I said, hey, can we spoon them? <laughs> so now it's become a thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you coined this term. Like I've never heard of this before. But there is something so like soothing and satisfying yes. about snuggling up to this biggest fur ball. They are the most relaxing things. Like they're so therapeutic in every sense. Well, and that's why you decided you want them to become therapy animals. Is that yes. right? Yes. I'm training them right now to be therapy animals um, until I'm able to go into the hospitals. Um, we are doing photo shoots, alpaca rentals, and um, weddings and events with them. Okay, so if someone wants to rent an alpaca for a day or for an hour, how do they go about doing this? So they contact me on my Instagram. It's TNMK Girls, and we just set it up. How crazy is that? So, okay, so if I have a wedding shoot, right, if I'm engaged or something yes. and I want a bridal or something <laughs> with cheese or macaroni or both, uh, do I need to come to your house or like, like, how do they travel? Is it hard? Do I need to bring them snacks? What do we have to do? So I provide all of that. I have snacks for you to give them. Um, we can meet on any location. I will take them anywhere. Like I said, they travel so easy in the van. So going anywhere is no problem. Um, is it hard to take care of them day to day? No, it, they're so easy. So in the morning, I feed them grass hay. Um, then they just hang out. I work with them on training. And then in the evening time, I give them more grass hay. And you have other animals as well, I right? do. I have four goats and 20 chickens. <laughs> and you're just in Eagle Mountain. In Eagle Mountain. Like it's not like you're out in the boonies somewhere. Nope. It's in the middle of a neighborhood. Yes. That's crazy. What do your neighbors think about all of this? They love them. Oh, good. Yes, we take them on walks in the neighborhood and everybody stops oh and wants to come gosh. snuggle them. And all of your animals are named after barbecue, which is so yes. funny that your husband so did that. So part of the deal with my husband is if I can get these animals, then he gets to name them. He's from North Carolina and he loves North Carolina barbecue. <laughs> So we have um, all barbecue themed names. Oh my goodness, macaroni and cheese are my new best friends. I just want to take them home with me. Maybe they'll fit in my SUV. I don't know. They probably We're going to link everyone um, <laughs> to all of the information of Megan and her business. So stay tuned to, for that. Oh, we're getting feisty here. Yeah. Um, how do you say it? Like what do llamas or what do alpacas say? They hum. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Bri, are you speaking our language? What do you think? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, find, we'll have to find out. Give us I a good work here. We they get, sound like little Wookiees. We'll give you a minute here, Allie. Then, no kids, 
No wearing 